and back at the airport ready for round two of trying to get to New York um, my first flights at 615 it gets to Charlotte and then I have I'm not even kidding like a six hour layover because I need to go to JFK specifically however I just found out one of my best friends is in New York also a flight attendant um, and she's going to dinner tonight so now I'm thinking even if I can fly into LaGuardia and get there earlier I might do that and just meet up with her uh, and they have a hotel and everything so I might stay with them instead of having to try and stay at the airport so it totally changes things. If I would have known, I, um, yeah, what a plan for that. But anyways, first things first, we're going to not make any plans until we get on this flight to Charlotte. Because last time, that didn't even happen. <laughs> okay, I'm so tired and it is so cold. It's negative like 20 out right now. So I'm probably not going to film this journey since I will have filmed it in my last video um so we'll see if i film any more in this airport i might wait till i get to charlotte and get some coffee and all that again i'm not going to have any coffee before this flight even though i'm like dying this drive is horrible without coffee but uh i want to sleep on the plane so i don't want to wake myself up it's 4 43 in the morning i've been up since three not happy about it. <laughs> I officially made it to New York. At JFK and I'm getting an Uber. It's gonna be here in one minute. Um, out to the hotel that my friends are staying at and then we're gonna get dinner and I got here just in time because I was a little afraid the weather was gonna be bad but it's actually nice. It's not raining or anything. There's a lot of snow here still though. <sighs> Feels good. It's at 20 below. Okay, I think my Uber's here. Okay, it's here. I'm gonna get in. Oh my god, okay, he had to drop me off down the street. So I'm walking, which is fine because there's so much traffic. Everybody's dressed so nicely. I didn't bring any nice clothes. Cute. I hope this is even the right place. I think I'm in the right spot. I don't even know. <laughs> traffic was like here. Thank you. My friend. Hey guys, just vlogging today. You know, just in the city. In the city. Just another day of my life. Living my best life. Sing on. now 5 41 in the morning the next day so today's my appointment i think my uber is here going back to the airport
All right, I'm officially in the airport. Oops. Um, I fully intended to take the train this morning, so I woke up really early. And so I'm a little bit early here now, but I think that's okay because I'm gonna use the bathroom first. And then I'm gonna head to the fingerprint area early. And if they can get me in early, then hopefully I can get to my flight earlier and make that flight home. It's not raining or anything in New York, so it was supposed to be ice storm and it seems okay now. So we will see. So today will be interesting to see whether or not I can get on my flight home because if I miss my like 8 a.m. flight, I'm gonna be here for a long time. <laughs> Probably all day. <laughs> I think the next flight isn't until like 1.40 or something. So I'll we'll see, okay. Gotta find a bathroom. Good morning! Oh my gosh, okay, so I did not vlog last night because I was exhausted. I, oh, let's see, we've got some crookedness with the tripod. Okay, my favorite spot <laughs> to start videos. Although this isn't the start, this will be more like the end of this video. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that little glimpse of what it's like to be a flight attendant because that's pretty accurate. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you don't make it on flights, sometimes you do, and yesterday, it's really hard to vlog though, and I should have brought my DJI pocket because it's so small and um, I didn't need, I wasn't talking, so it would have been nice to get footage that way, so next time I'll remember that. So the video is at least a little more interesting or you can see a little bit more. But my camera setup right now is like a little bit bigger, so it was just too hard to walk through the airport like that. Um, and also I needed it tucked in my bag because I was rushing to get on both of my flights so i couldn't really be holding it um anyways so i barely made it on both of my flights with all those weather cancellations in dallas because of this winter storm that's like sweeping the nation uh everybody was getting rebooked onto the flights that i was gonna take my battery died so <clears throat> i'm back it's been like 45 minutes i ate breakfast and everything but i'm just about to call my mechanic because he called me last night which I missed, um, and then by the time I got it, I, it, he was already closed and probably at home. So I'm gonna call him right now and get an update on my van. So let's see what he says. Hey Darren, it's Samantha. I'm doing well. I'm finally back from my yeah. day of traveling. <laughs> I, I hope it was a little warmer out there. I tracked down the draw in your van. Uh huh. What it was is there's a uh, a power door lock control module. <gasps> Which is why my power door locks weren't working. Right. <laughs> it was it was telling them. It was like it was like it was holding the lock button down. Yay, that's such good news because my power steer or power steering, my power locks were not working. And I should have mentioned this to him in the beginning, but I I kept thinking it was related to that side door problem I was having with the lock because the lock kind of um whatever. Anyways, it was doing a similar thing as that lock was doing when it had fallen in. Like it was staying locked. And so I kept being terrified I was going to lock my keys in my car because I still only have the one, which probably like today I should go get a spare made. But anyways, without me even telling him that was a problem, he figured out that that's where the power draw was coming from. It's crazy because the more I'm learning about cars through the problems that I'm having, the more I'm realizing how many things are related that I would have no clue about. Like, for example, um, with the power steering, 
people had asked me later, I mean, much later when I already was home with the van, people were like, well, didn't you hear the car making like a creaking noise when you were turning the wheels? And I was like, yeah, but I actually didn't know those two things were related. I thought like, I honestly thought that I had hit a curb too many times and it was just like, I don't know. I had no clue. So now I know those two are related. So now in the future, so basically what I'm trying to say is I'm learning so much about things that are connected um, and what's not connected and what they could be caused. He fixed it and he said it sat overnight all night and it started like a dream this morning. So I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, and then my next one, hopefully, I literally am thinking I might leave town tomorrow. I have nothing keeping me here now and I need to um, I need to leave soon if I'm gonna make it back before I'm gonna have to go to work, potentially. Um, I think I'm gonna bid for the three month leave instead of the 12 month leave. And then at the end of three months, we'll kind of see where we're at and if the company still needs people to take leaves, then maybe I'll think about taking another leave if it's not realistic for me to not work longer than that, then I'm not locked into 12 months, I can go back to work. So that's what I'm thinking. But if I take the three month leave, I'm hoping that delays my April 1st start date. Um, but I'm not, I actually don't know for sure. <laughs> I need to do a little more research. So either way, there's a chance, no matter what happens, I might have to be to work April 1st. So we shall see. Um, anyways, yay for van life coming back. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.